Welcome to Fabricville. Today I propose to you a tutorial to make this short sleeves shirt for boys. It's the Mikol's N6972 pattern made in this printed poplin. To make this shirt we'll need the pattern, the chalk, some pins, scissors, five shirt buttons, some interfacing, fabric and a sort thread. First, I place the pieces of the pattern onto the fabric, respecting the grain line. Then I cut it all out. Then I transfer the notches that will be useful for the assembly of the shirt. I'm going to interface the two front facings and one color piece. To start the assembly, I'll make the front pocket. I've searched the four edges of the pocket piece, then I fold to the wrong side on the fold line and I stitch the sides of the hem. I snip the upper angles and I turn the hem right side out. I pressed the hem and the remaining seam allowances folded to the wrong side. Then on the right side I'm going to stitch along the hem. I pin the pocket on the left front matching the notches. I stitch close to the sides and the lower edge of the pocket. Now I lay the front on the back right sides facing. I stitch the shoulder seams then search the allowances. Then I press the allowances turned toward the back. With right sides facing, I pin the sleeve to the armhole edge matching the markings. I stitch, then search. I'm going now to pin the back and front together at sides, as well as the sleeve lateral seam with the right sides facing. I stitch from the lower edge of the sleeve to the shirt's bottom. I can now make the sleeves hem. I turn the hem at 3.2 cm and I press. Then I turn the raw edge under 6 mm, pin and stitch on the right side. To reinforce the collar, I'm going to stitch a few centimeters, 1.5 cm from the raw edge of the interface part at the triangle's notches. Then I snip to the triangles. I turn under 1.5 cm between the triangles. I press, then I trim the pressed edge to 1 cm. I lay the collar pieces right sides together and I stitch them together leaving the folded edge free. I trim the seam allowances and snip the corners. I turn the collar right side out and I press it. Then I baste the raw edges together.
I pin the collar to the neck edge, matching the notches and I baste. I've searched the shoulders and inner edges of the facing. I turn the facing shoulder edge 1.5 cm to the wrong side and I press it. I pin the facing to the neck edge and front. And I stitch the facing. I also stitch the collar, leaving the pressed edge free. After having snipped the corners and trimmed the allowance, I turn the facings to the inside. And I press. I snip the collar allowance at the ends of the facing. Then I put the allowance inside the collar before hand stitching the opening. Then I hand stitch the breast edge of the facing to the shoulder seam. To make the bottom hem, I turn the lower edge to the right side along the seam. I stitch across the facing 3.2 cm from the raw edge. I snip the angle and trim only the facing allowance. I turn the facing to the inside, then I fold and press the hem 3.2 cm from the raw edge. Then I turn under 6 mm on the edge, I pin, then I stitch. To finish, I'm going to sew buttons and buttonholes. I've transferred the pattern markings and I machine stitch 5 buttonholes on the left front of the shirt. Then I open the holes using scissors. I left the left front over the right to check the placement of the buttons. Then I make a notch facing the left side of the buttonhole. Then I hand stitch all the five shirt buttons. And our shirt is finished. Thanks for watching.